iOS 17.2 is officially available. And with this new update comes a lot of new features and changes. So here's what's new in iOS 17.2. This new update officially gives us the release of the journal app, which Apple introduced back at WWDC. It's now available for everyone. And I already did a full video going over my first impressions of it when it was released in the beta. But to sum it up with the journal app, users can record their daily activities and thoughts with Apple providing optional prompts that can be used as inspiration. Journal entries can be added by tapping on the plus button in the journal app. And from there, users can choose a suggestion as the basis for their writing or just opt for a new entry to write anything at all. Entries are automatically tagged with a date for organizational purposes, but there are also options for bookmarking too. Journal entries can include images, voice recordings, and location tags. In iOS 17.2, you can also long press on any chat bubble in the Messages app to add a sticker response that serves as an alternative to a tap back reaction. Tapping on add sticker lets you choose either a sticker or an emoji to apply to the corner of the iMessage. This feature actually already existed, but you kind of had to like go into the stickers or emojis and drag and drop. And this just serves as a much faster way of adding that tap back reaction. Now, for those who have an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, iOS 17.2 brings us spatial video recording for the upcoming Apple Vision Pro. Spatial video recording can be enabled by going into the settings app, tapping into the camera section, and then selecting formats and toggling on spatial video for Apple Vision Pro. Now, the videos will look normal when you watch them back in the Photos app, but if you get an Apple Vision Pro come next year, it'll obviously be in that cool spatial 3D uh, format, which looks really, really good. The action button now has the translate option available that allows users to bring up a translate window that listens for spoken text when holding down on the action button for the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. It's able to translate from one set language to another using the languages that you have previously set up in the translate app. So those are some of the marquee features, but there are also tons of other quality of life improvements that come with 17.2. So I'm gonna quickly go over some of those minor but useful features in rapid fire. Like the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max are now getting improved focus speeds with the telephoto lens. Uh, songs that are favorited in Apple Music now automatically get aggregated into its own favorites playlist, as well as new settings option for Apple Music, which allows you to add songs to your music library when they are favorited. Apple also added a focus filter for the Apple Music listening history feature. So if you want to let someone else use your device to listen to music, you can activate this to turn off the listening history so that their song choices won't affect your recommendations. You can now disable inline predictions for the keyboard while typing. And if you have your very busy group chat going off during the day and you feel like it's way too hard to catch up, you can now use the new catch up arrow to jump to the first unread message in a conversation. It shows up as an arrow in the top right corner of the display. There are actually a lot more little features and tweaks in iOS 17.2, so visit the article in the description down below to see the full list. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.